just watched the movie uh, Taken with Liam Neeson, Maggie Grace, and Famke Jansen. Um, it was a really good film. I enjoyed it. Um, Famke Jansen, I don't remember, you know, I haven't followed her career too much. I think she went to television after Rounders or something. But I remember in Rounders and I liked her there. She plays this bitchy ex-wife. She does a really good job playing the bitchy ex-wife. And Maggie Grace, you know, she does a pretty good job playing a 17-year-old. Liam Neeson, I really don't like the guy in pretty much any of his movies except this one, okay? This movie, um, I liked his character. He played a very loving father, um, and I had affinity for the guy in this film, which is, I usually don't for that guy. Anyway, the plot, basically, he is an ex-spy for the United States government, and we can infer from what they say in the film that in the, before the film started, you know, in his past... He didn't have much of a relationship with his daughter or his ex-wife, and they basically left him, and, and uh, Maggie Grace gets a richer, better father, it seems like, so you can see there's a little jealousy there in the film. And Liam, he wants to uh, reestablish his relationship with his daughter, so he basically moves to where she is. Lo and behold, she goes to Europe, though. <laughs> so, anyway, and she gets taken. She gets kidnapped. Uh, and she's thrown into the sex slave trade. Now, <clears throat> henceforth the uh, name of the movie taken. Now, even though she's in the sex slave trade, I don't really remember seeing any blatant sex scenes, so if, if you need to avoid those, I don't think there's anything in there. I usually remember something like that. Maybe I got popcorn, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, there's some car chases, which is really cool, and there's lots of, like, born identity fight scenes, you know. So if you're into that, I mean, I think Jason Borg could probably kick this guy's ass, but there were still some good good fight scenes. Um, and for you ladies that are that like love-driven plots, this movie is driven by love. So that's in the film. Um, also... Let's move to the life lessons. You know, I like to pick and choose a few life lessons that I picked up from the film. Number one, kids don't lie to your parents. Um, the whole plot is started because basically Kim lies to Brian, her father, uh, and because of this lie, he could have basically protected her if she'd have told him the truth, and things would have not have transpired to her harm. Okay. Number two, another life lesson. Parents, if you don't want your kids to lie to you, then have a relationship with them. Okay. Now, Famke Jansen, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, she plays the bitchy ex-wife. She may be degraded somewhat in her morals. Um, but however, she has a relationship with Kim, Maggie Grace. And because of that established relationship, Kim doesn't feel like she needs to lie to her mom, but because of the estrangement of her father, she does lie to him, okay? So parents, if you don't want your children to lie to you, have a relationship with them, okay? Um, number three, I'm not really sure how to put this in uh, words, but it's like love causes us to sacrifice our morals sometimes. Now, Liam is traipsing around trying to find his daughter. That's the plot of the film. And he's a good guy doing bad things. And sometimes good people have to do bad things to justify a good ending. Okay. However, sometimes good people, when they do bad things over and over again, they become a bad person. And I kind of felt that Liam Neeson's character in this film overstepped the moral bounds. He could have handled a couple of things a little differently. And I'm, I'd be interested in your comment on that. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. But I started feeling like he might be turning into a bad guy. Okay? Also, life lesson number four, if you're going to be good at shooting a gun, you need to be a good guy. <laughs> As true with any action film, uh, the bad guys can't shoot or the flip. Except for the lead bad guy, you know, the lead bad guy, he's always down for at least a flesh wound. <laughs> Same thing in this film, it's a little, it's a little predictable at some pos, uh, spots. Um, anyway, as far as giving it a rating, most radical man ever, I don't quite give it an A, however I do encourage you to see the film. It is a good film, it kept my interest um, the whole time, my suspension of dis belief was fine. I mean, nothing blew my mind uh, as far as being unreasonable. I mean, it was a good film, but I, I can only give it a B plus. It doesn't quite hit an A, but it definitely is worth saying.
Okay? Till we meet again, dig deeper, go higher.